Relax yourself. No devil can stop you from prospering. The economy is too small. They can rig election, but they cannot rig your prosperity. People can rig election, but not your what? Prosperity. It's only in Nigeria where you rig and come out boldly to say that you won. It's only in this country I've seen that. Even when truth is glaring to your face, they say it's a lie. <laughs> As if everybody's stupid. <laughs> it's only in this country. But when it comes to God, it's not like that. God is not the man that he should lie. It's not the man. He doesn't say one thing and do another. God, when he says it, he means it. It's not the Nigerian government. God is not the Nigerian government who failed in education, failed in security, failed in election, failed in economy, failed everywhere. God is not a man like Nigerian government. When he says a thing, he stands with integrity. God is not Nigerian so don't think that he will say one thing and no, one of you cannot trust God. You think God is Nigerian government. Who will tell you we'll have the best election and have the worst election. That's why some of you can't trust God because Nigeria, me, I heard them said the election will be very wonderful. So some of you, even when God speaks, say, make you not do like Nigerian government too. No, God is not Nigerian who will say one thing and do another. God, when he says a thing, he means what he says. He does not lie. He does not play pranks. He does not change his words. God is not Nigerian government. God stands on integrity. You may not trust Nigerian government, but trust God. Rise to your feet. So I hear. And there is nothing they will say now that anybody can believe. Will you believe them again? So some of you, that's why when we say God will do this, say, ah, if God may fail, now God will, you know. God is not Nigerian government. God is not a politician. God is God. When he says a thing, he stands by it. You can hold him by his word. He stands on the integrity of his word. Word. Do you believe it? Never doubt God. You can doubt any mortal man, but not God. God can't lie. There's one thing God cannot do. He cannot lie. Man can lie. Government can lie. In fact, lying is part of government. If they don't lie, it's not complete. <laughs> they say BVS. You see what you call it? Bivas. They spent 300 and something billion, which would have been used for education. Nigeria would have been high in education. They refuse to pay. Though the lecturers too are very funny. The professors who they say we go to now, they are the ones disappointing Nigeria. Professors. Only very few of them have come out. That's why they are owing them. Because they are the best who should have stood on integrity. But they, most of them, not all of them, some of them said no, we must stand on integrity. So Nigerian government is not God. Stand on the when God says, I'll bless you, don't say, God, you go bless me. If Nigeria says, God bless you, look too well. <laughs> if the present government says, God bless you, look well, oh, because the blessing are lie. People have started lying like anything, but God is not a man that He should lie. That's one thing all of us should know God does not lie. Man can lie, and a president can lie. You see what you call Anek what? Chairman can lie. Pivas will walk. They didn't walk. It's the worst election in Nigeria. I'm 60, so I've experienced some election. This is the worst in the history of Nigeria. We are glaring truth to your eyes. They are saying it's not truth. It's nonsense. The man would have used the money to do for education. At least our university that closed for nine months would have closed. They would have used that throne and said, do you know what it means if they pump that money to education? Because there's no point going to vote if all you are telling us is well, that's not what I came to preach. I know some of you are waiting for me to hear something. <laughs> you, you know Siam? I'm going to tell you, you know Siam? <laughs> you know Siam with your eyes? <laughs> so that people can't tell you, in one year from David you know Siam? <laughs> yeah, you see, so, even those who are online now, their ears are open. What are you going to talk? What are you going to talk? I don't say anything. You know Siam? You on the internet, did you see it? Did they count your vote? <laughs> 
I'm very relaxed, Joe. But God loves Nigeria too much. He will do what he will do. It's one nation God loves a lot. I know God loves this country because of the saints. God will not allow Nigeria to be destroyed. I pray for my country because I love Nigeria. He won't allow this country to be destroyed. It's very simple. Just do one wrong thing can destroy a nation. Do one right thing can put a nation on a track. One wrong step can destroy a nation. And Nigeria is at that point where if one wrong step is taken, it will destroy it. One right step will correct so many wrongs. We are the verge of either one wrong step destroy this nation or one right step correct so many wrongs. Are you hearing me now? So we keep praying for Nigeria. Are you praying for Nigeria? Yes, sir. Pray for the peace of what? Jerusalem. Don't give up on Nigeria. Don't run away abroad. Pray, may God help Nigeria. Thieves won't rule this country. Time has passed. Time has what? Passed. Say, how will God do it? Ask him, not me. But I know God whom I serve. And you too, you know God whom you serve. Let's close there. I say nothing beyond that point. <laughs> We're all watching. We're all what? But if your father is in the judiciary, tell him the legacy he will leave will follow him after he's gone. This is the biggest test for the judiciary. Either to stand for the truth or to bend and compromise integrity. They will know whether judiciary exists in Nigeria. The confidence in judiciary will be lost after now. Or what we gain after that. They, they are just like this. Either the whole Nigerians will say no more for judiciary, or yes, for judiciary. They are the biggest, this is their biggest test of integrity. Nigerians are watching whether judiciary will bend and everybody will lose hope and say, You two are like politicians. Or they say, Well, you, some of you still have integrity. Because by judiciary, by, by being judges, they should have integrity. To say no, money is not ever. I pity a lawyer who would take money to defend an armed robber. Is it life? Is it all about money? No. I came up one day. I said, any lawyer who defends a Vance, the kidnapper, has no conscience. The lawyer the following day resigned. <laughs> he heard me. I don't know who told him. A Vance was a kidnapper. I said, anybody defends him has no what? It's not every case you go to defend. Don't you have conscience? Are your children not alive? So every case, because you're a lawyer, you go to defend. You want to quote law. For, to the glaring truth. Because they will pay you money. Get lost with that money. Not every money that is good money. Some money is saying, no, get lost with your... I'm not going to take it. The Zionic approved by the National Assembly. This is a new one. To that, the 305.2 billion naira. This would have solved all the problems in education. So what is the nonsense for? That what on our INEC chairman is the worst thing that happened to Nigeria. He said disgrace himself and central bank governor. <laughs> Those two people, they are the demons you have in this country. <laughs> demons you have in this country. Uh, I don't teach my own. And I have a voice to, to talk. Yes. Now you are going to pray, Lord, you are not a man that you should lie. What you say is you will do. The things you have told me as I put them to practice fulfill your part of the world. Is that true? Yes. Because you are not Nigerian. <laughs> don't pray like that too. <laughs> Just say you are not a man that you should lie. Anything you have said you will do. Do it. You will not say one thing and do another. I stand on the integrity of your word to commit you to perform what you have declared. Go ahead in the name of Jesus.